Oh, hey. So one of the biggest selling points for using a DSLR for video is its ability to shoot in low light. But even with that, to paint the very best picture, sometimes you need to bring in additional lights. Now I'm a big fan of LED lights. They're durable, they're cool to the touch, and they're not terribly expensive. This one's made by Fancier, I've got some made by FNV, and there are a whole host of other manufacturers out there to choose from. Now one thing I will point out about LED lighting is that the color temperature can vary from manufacturer to manufacturer, and it's usually the more expensive brands that have a more reliable color temperature. Just something to keep in mind. But enough about that. I've got a great tip for LED lighting that will give you great results and save you a couple bucks. Now, regardless of your lighting, at some point you're probably going to need to diffuse that light just to get the right amount or to soften your light a little bit. Now, traditional diffusion can be a little bit expensive, or maybe you just don't have enough on that particular day. Well, not to worry, the solution is in your kitchen. Because LED lights run cool, you can use average run-of-the-mill wax paper to diffuse your lights and it will not melt. So whether it be one sheet, two sheet, three sheets, 17 sheets, it doesn't matter. You've got an entire roll here to work with. So let's take a look at what my wax paper diffuser will do for your LED lights. Now here's a shot with no diffusion, just the light. It's a little bit harsh, but it might be what you're looking for. Now here's one sheet of wax paper diffusion. Now a lot of people will actually attach their gels and diffusion with a wooden clothespin or what all the cool people like to call C47s. But in this instance, we've got LED lights and the paper actually slides between my lights and my barn doors, so no harm, no foul. Now you can definitely tell a difference with one sheet of wax paper, but let's add another. Now here's two sheets of wax paper. You can definitely tell it's softening it a little bit more, but let's go crazy. Let's go with four sheets of wax paper. Boom, four sheets of wax paper. You can definitely tell a difference. Now, this might cut your lighting down, so you might need to bump it up, but it's definitely softening the light. It's spreading it out a little bit more, and it might be the look you're looking for. And if we take a look at the shots with and without the diffusion, you can definitely see the difference. Now, the amount of diffusion you decide depends on your subject and the story you're trying to tell. It's totally your choice. So there you have it, the LED lighting wax paper diffuser for DSLR video. Now if you'd like to see more about DSLR video and editing, please hit the subscribe button. But if you'd like to see an in-depth discussion about lighting for DSLR video and a whole lot more, please check out the Fronos Photo Guide to DSLR video. Talk to you soon.